that it gets struck down so low na masyado siya binit down na sasabihin ng technicals, don't buy that kasi it's a downtrend or walang buy signal pa. But it's too cheap to ignore, I buy into it. For example, Cebu Pacific last year was so beaten down, I bought it at around, sabay kami ni Giron nun eh, nag-uusap kami nun, I bought it around 79 or 75, 76, then after a few weeks after, like 88, 90 siya. I sold it in a, in a matter of weeks. Kasi it, it was so beaten down that the people saw it too cheap to ignore that you have to buy it. So I, I don't care about the technicals at that particular point. If I think the company is a story, I think the company is worth buying and it's been beaten down. Sobrang bilis. It would also go, it would go up that fast. Ganun din yung binawak sa Jollibee. It got beaten down from 90, like 100 ko yun, like 90, then like 76, like 72. I bought it there. Bumalik naman eh. Diba? You can look at that eh. You can look at companies that have been beaten down. Yung sinasabi ni uh, JR na buying at rebound. So something like that. You look at things that, uh, regardless of what the technicals are telling you, but they're too cheap to ignore. You buy I buy into it personally. Okay, this is my technique. I buy the same stocks over and over and over again. Yung nandun, yun lang yung tinitignan ko. Paulit-ulit na paulit-ulit naman, paulit-ulit. Yun lang. Pinamaster ko na yung stocks na at the same time. So yun, based from last year, more of that lang. I just came in and out of those particular stocks last year. And some others, di ba? It makes it easier for me. Yun na lang yung babantayan ko eh. Okay, other things that I consider. Okay, these things, yung mga next na papakita ko, uh, they're just for me something good to know or nice to have. Regardless if these things will tell me not to buy, I'd still buy it. Okay? Number one. Yan, yung mga forums na yan. Kasi when I know, yung mga forums na yan are hyping up a particular stock na nabili ko. Sabi ko, yes, I'm in a good, I'm in a good zone right now. Kasi people are talking about it. For example, si Gascocho, he's one of the major popular dito when it comes to the stock market. So, when I see him say that, DMC and MPI rallied together with larger capitalization stocks. Not to be outdone, then coming mining stocks, Ore and I show the way of uh, for the sector leaving more season LC and PX to catch up. Those stocks are in my list. So if I have them now, nakangiti na ako. Kasi people who are reading this, you probably want to buy it also. And that's me, but you don't have to follow it. News. I still, I look at the news for information and on how I can make the right decisions. Like recently, GMA, the current speculation that we did in Imani Pangilina that it will be part of TV5. After a few days, from GMA from 6.2, then rally until 8. Diba? Looking at that alone, uh, my, my fiance has some GMA stocks. I sold it right away. Something something like that. Say GMA, tagal lang natulog yun eh. I sold it, based on the news. And if it's in the news, lagi na uuna yung mga vlogs. Lagi na uuna yung mga chismes. So, you can base it from there. But ako, fundamentals first, technicals, then these are just some things that are good to know. Something that are kind of icing on the cake, that I can live by my tricks without, with or without this. Okay, normally, uh, people hit a down market, but ako, I really buy it into a down market. I like buying in break, I like buying into a breakout, sa technicals, when the stock goes into breakout, I like buying into that. But when the when the market's down and I have cash, it's a good opportunity for me. And I always buy when the market is down and I sell when the market is rallying. That's me. Number eight, I look at this. When you see these foreign brokers, uh, in our previous seminars, I've told you that 60%, 40 to 60% of the transactions are made by foreign brokers. Okay? That when the 60, 40 to 60% are buying, I buy with them. So, pag nakita ko sila na bumibili, na mas malaki yung binili nila compared sa binenta nila, sabay mo, it's, it's a way na pwede mo sabay mo, sumabay na pala ako sa kanila. Diba? It's something good to know, but not something I base my trades on. Kasi when, when foreign companies buy, they buy huge amounts of money na we can't help na tataas yung stock. So, diba, stock market supply and demand, the more buyers will, will allow the prices to go up. Okay ba? Okay. So yeah, buy and sell amount. So, uh, just one practice.